morning guys, welcome to Fury Models Daily Vlog. Uh, to be honest, I've just finished doing a load more editing on the A10. I've got two parts up for you. So you're gonna get another part of that up today and then you'll get the next part of that, which I'll probably put up on Friday. Cause obviously I'm not gonna be here Friday. Um, so the new show and everything I'm gonna have to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna drag it forward today. So we're gonna have a little bit of a crossover somewhere along the line and we'll have another part of the A10. We'll hopefully be up for you on Monday. Cause then I'll get back around about midday, uh, mid afternoon on Monday. Uh, so hopefully you'll still have plenty to watch and do whilst we're away. So in the meantime, today gives me, I reckon, a good four hours on the A10, which should be a lot of fun. Um, I've got to put on all the air scoops, we're gonna get those on, we're gonna put on the raised uh, riveting detail, using the Archer rivets, so we're gonna put those on. We're gonna go around, just check all the bits and pieces, do the canopy work, get the canopy fitted to it, basically everything so we can clear this entire bench off and get it all over to the spray bay. So when we're back next week, it's all gonna be about the painting and spraying uh, and all the bits and pieces just like that. So hopefully, we'll be in a really strong position to push through it heavily next week, get the paintwork done, get the deckling on, and even perhaps as far as weathering, and we'll definitely start the weathering process by the end of next week. So. Let's get on with it. Okay, and there we go. So you see, a quite a busy day on this one, to be honest. Lots of fiddling around, uh, just trying to get everything to line up, making sure we're all good, and we are literally there. Really chuffed that the canopy went on with no problem at all. We've got the correct spread, everything lines up there. So all the problems we had, which you're gonna see in part four, which is up today, about putting the two halves together and then checking it. Uh, and as we were doing it, we actually took the canopy and made sure it was the right width, that we hadn't actually, because putting that black box and ramming it up in there, it hadn't spread it slightly so we end up with the canopy not laying correctly or perhaps it's too thin or too wide whatever it is uh, so make sure that's all okay so anyway a 
good amount of time spent on that one, but it has paid off dividends. So in part four of this particular one, which is up with you now, it's gonna show me putting it all together, because it's quite complex, because we've got the gun system in there, we've got the electronics bay, or the battery bay this side, we've got the electronics bay this one, we've got the black box cockpit in there, and we've got that rear deck system. So to get it all in there, to line up and go okay, did take a little bit of a jiggling around. So what I did was I literally have just left it unedited. It's complete raw state. And you can see me sort of troubleshooting of doing right, okay, it's not going, why not? Let's do it. That's, you know, get use a bit of tack and we'll just tack it all into place roughly, super glue it into place, making sure everything's good. Then we're coming in and then we get to that point saying, right, let's just get it in there. Then we'll play with it once it's all in there. So then a little bit of a change of tact, we get in there, we sort it out, do all the bits and pieces to it and we end up with it actually has worked out better than I thought it was. All those little things where you're thinking it's not right, it's not straight, they've all gone now, it fits an absolute tree, so it is in there tucked up. We've also today done all the lumps and bumps all over this one, we've put the uh, aileron systems, which are working weirdly, it's this speed brake system that actually works on these. Uh, they're installed onto it, we've got these little lapels on the front, the scoops, the vents, the various bits and pieces, the aerials are all going on as well, and also we've started work actually on the engines as well. So I'm hoping by tomorrow, spend a couple of hours on it in the morning, we'll be in a position where it's basically ready for primer when we get back on Tuesday. So as I said, we're up traveling up Friday, having a little bit of time with the guys and everything on Saturday. Sunday, obviously, we're going to be at the Huddersfield show, and then on Monday, we're going to travel back. So obviously, really, Monday's out the window as well. So hopefully next week, we'll be in a situation of primer, paint, and then we can get decals onto it, which is something we're going to be playing with Ron. He knows about it, <laughs> trust me. Uh, I'm going to show you, Ron's going to make me some custom markings for this one, so we're going to show on that one. So we get it painted and everything already, and probably going to get to see Ron with his decal making next Saturday. I'll film it all, and then what it is, we'll come back and we'll put those onto this one on the Monday as we make our way through. But generally, I was hoping to have this one done before the end of the month. We've got no problems there. It is going to be done. I reckon two more weeks solid and we'll be good to go on this one. And then we'll be pushing on with some more great builds. So there we go. That's about it for today. As I say, tomorrow is going to be a little bit difficult because I'm going to be filming other things that you're going to see on Friday. So obviously like the new show I'll film tomorrow. So it's ready for you on Friday morning. And then obviously we could do some reviews. And obviously we're going to be talking about airbrushes and this paint shaker as well tomorrow. So plenty to do tomorrow before we go away. So till tomorrow, everybody. Happy modeling. Take care. Thank you.